How do you begin your math journey? Where do you start studying mathematics? And the answer is definitely going to depend on where you are, you know, how much math you actually know. That's going to dictate where you start. In this video, I'm going to read an email I got from a person here on the channel, and I'm going to do my best to respond to this message. This is a fairly recent email that I got. I got it uh, just very one day ago, it says. So uh, the person's name is Mayuk, and the subject is seeking advice on how to begin my maths journey. Dear sir, I have been watching your videos for quite a while now, and they have let me into developing interest in maths and CS. I'm going to be in eighth standard this year and have mostly completed my textbook for the same. Even after watching several videos on the topic, I can't understand how and where to start. Should I get senior class textbooks or are there some other books which can help me acquire high school level math knowledge? So I do have tons of advice because obviously I have a lot of books and I can recommend so many books. But in your specific case, I'm going to recommend books that I think will help you uh, the most. So you mentioned you're in eighth standard. So I guess that's like eighth grade. So very young. It's really cool that like you're doing math at the age you're doing math. I mean, that's that's so good. You're probably so much better than I was when I was in eighth grade. When I was in eighth grade, and this is this is a terrible story, and I'll just I'll share it quickly because it's it's a little bit embarrassing. When I was in eighth grade, I remember sitting in class next to this kid, um, and he was he was from India. I, I forgot his name, but I remember he was from India, and he was doing some math. It was very basic math. He was writing stuff down. He was writing down like commutative, associative. He was just writing down the properties of like addition, <laughs> like certain properties that addition satisfies, like, you know, addition is commutative, it's associative. And I did not understand what he was doing. I sat next to him and I copied down everything he was doing and I couldn't get it. So they took me out of that class and they put me in a class with bad kids. It was like a, it was like a lower level class. I had to go to the principal and I told the principal, I don't know what's going on in class. I'm, I'm just so lost. I didn't understand any of the math. So you're probably way ahead of me. So let me just start by saying that's awesome. Okay, so what should you do? Because you see, you know, as a collector of math books, I can recommend, you know, all kinds of books that you should get. So I'm just going to recommend two. I'm, I'm just going to say two books. And this, this will save you time. The big thing is, can you get these books where you live? So depending where you live, you know, you might not be able to get these books. That's That's the big thing. So the first book I'm going to recommend is just a book that will prepare you for calculus and it includes tons of mathematics and it's written by very reputable authors. It has withstood the test of time because it has been reprinted over and over again. Um, it's a, just a great modern textbook that has been refined over and over through various editions. And this is the second edition, so it's an older edition. Um, Algebra and Trigonometry by Stuart, Redlin, and Watson. So great book, okay? This is going to have all of the algebra you need. It's going to have all of the trig you need. You can use this to learn so much math. So in the U.S., okay, in the U.S., a book like this is used um, to teach or to take classes such as pre-calculus uh, and algebra and trig. So college algebra, pre-calculus, and trigonometry are the classes that are usually taught with books like this. More often than not, Pre-calculus and trigonometry are the classes that are taught using a book like this. For a college algebra class, typically typically people will use a college algebra book in the U.S. I skipped that though. Notice I skipped that and I'm going straight to this one for you because this contains everything those algebra books contain. So a book like this will contain all the math you need, plus it's going to give you answers to all of the odd numbered problems and it's going to have good explanations and you're going to have it Physically, I mean, you can always Google stuff, but like there's nothing like having an actual book, right? So worth it. If you can get a copy of this, get it and you'll have it for the rest of your life, right? That's the thing with books, right? As long as you don't lose them and no one steals them, which is unlikely, um, you'll have them for the rest of your life. Then to make things more interesting, I want to recommend another book. And this book is really going to blow your mind because it's probably not what you're expecting. So you're an eighth which is the eighth standard, which again, I believe just means like eighth grade. So very young. And this might be a bit much, but you know what? Try it. 
Thomas Calculus. Okay, so this is a book that is legendary. So it has been redone. So the authors, it mentions who wrote the book, but it's based on the work of George Thomas. This is by Weir, Haas, and Heil, and it's based on the original work by George Thomas. So George Thomas wrote a calculus book long ago, and it has been revised so many times. This is the 13th edition. I'm not even I'm not even sure if this is like the latest one. There might be a newer one. I will leave a link in this video um, to multiple copies of this book if I can find it. Maybe there's some used copies that are more affordable. Um, great book. Incredible. If you compare this book to its older edition, you're going to notice differences. I've done, I've done that. I made a video comparing um, this book, Thomas Calculus book, to the older versions, and there are major differences. There's some pros and cons. I think mostly pros. I, I feel like they've done a really good job um, with this newer edition. So the people who, who wrote it and edited it and did all that, uh, good work to them. So those are two books that I would recommend that you could use to you know get better at math. Um, and just I just want to say that the fact that uh, you're you're in eighth grade and you know you're <laughs> you're doing so much math, it's awesome. You mentioned CS too. You could get a, a, a discrete math book because if you're going to study computer science, um, you're going to have to know some discrete mathematics at some point. So I would recommend the book by Susanna Epp for discrete math. I don't have it here, um, but that is definitely a book that I recommend. I think out of all of the discrete math books, the one by Susanna Epp is probably the easiest one for beginners. Another really good one that is also easy, uh, but probably doesn't contain as much information as the Epp book is the one by Coleman, Busby, and Ross. And again, I'll try to leave all of this in the description if I remember. But those two books, um, the Calculus book by Thomas, uh, excellent book. Uh, definitely recommend it if you are you know, trying to learn some calculus. And the Algebra and Trig book uh, by Sullivan, both of those are excellent. Does anyone else have recommendations here for things that this person should be learning right in eighth grade um i don't actually have any experience really with what um is is taught uh, so much in in like eighth grade um i mean i guess i do but uh you know i haven't really like looked at high school books in detail or anything like that i've only taught college i've never taught uh i've never taught high school never taught eighth grade but these are college level books right so why not jump into it, right? doesn't matter how old you are. Math is math, right? It doesn't know how old you are. So when you pick up the book and you start reading it, it doesn't know you're in eighth grade. You're just another human being trying to learn the beautiful subject of mathematics. Yeah, hopefully my uh, response has been good. And again, there's, there's more books. You can see I have tons of books back here, but those are just two. I hope it's been helpful. And if some, anyone else has advice for this person uh, for books that they can use, uh, they're in eighth grade, leave a comment. Good luck.